The photography world is buzzing again, and this time the whispers are growing louder than ever. Canon's next big APS-C flagship, the EOS R7 Mark II, has been spotted in the wild through a series of leaks and inside reports that have set the internet ablaze. For months, enthusiasts, professionals, and industry analysts have speculated about when Canon would refresh its highly popular EOS R7, a camera that already disrupted the market when it launched back in mid-2022. Now, it seems those questions are beginning to get real answers, and the rumors point to a model that could redefine the APS-C mirrorless category entirely. Welcome to my channel tech launch. Subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon for the new tech updates. From a release date that lines up with Canon's historical launch patterns to a list of leaked specs that read like a professional photographer's wish list, the R7 Mark II may be the most exciting camera news of 2025. To understand why this potential launch is causing such a stir, it's important to revisit the legacy of the original R7. When Canon introduced it as part of its RF mount system, it immediately appealed to wildlife shooters, sports photographers, and hybrid creators who wanted blistering speed without paying full-frame prices. The 32.5-megapixel APS-C sensor delivered crisp detail, the 30 frames per second electronic burst mode made tracking action a dream, and the dual-pixel CMOS AF2 system ensured subjects stayed locked in focus whether they were sprinting across a field or soaring through the sky. Add in 4K60 video with oversampling, 10-bit recording, and in-body image stabilization up to 7 stops, and you had a camera that felt like a professional tool disguised as a mid-range body. But as good as it was, technology moves quickly, and the last three years have brought dramatic advances in sensor readout speed, autofocus algorithms, and video capabilities, areas where Canon clearly wants to push APS-C to new heights. Enter the R7 Mark II leaks, which hint at a stacked CMOS APS-C sensor in the range of 33 megapixels. This alone could be transformative. Stacked sensors have been making their way into Canon's flagship full-frame models, drastically reducing rolling shutter and enabling much faster data readouts. For still shooters, this could mean even faster burst rates and essentially blackout-free shooting through the electronic viewfinder. For videographers, it promises cleaner motion capture, reduced skew during panning, and the possibility of higher frame rates without sacrificing resolution. If the rumors are true, we might be looking at up to 40 frames per second with the electronic shutter, a full 10 frames per second jump over the original R7, bringing APS-C performance into territory previously reserved for elite sports cameras. Supporting that new sensor is said to be Canon's latest dual digic X processor setup, potentially paired with an additional digic accelerator chip. The idea here is to handle massive data streams more efficiently, enabling advanced autofocus tracking, improved noise reduction at higher ISOs, and faster in-camera processing for features like pre-shoot capture or deep learning subject recognition. Imagine pointing your lens at a bird in flight, half pressing the shutter, and knowing the camera has already buffered several frames from before you fully press the button. That's the kind of leap these processing systems can deliver. Image stabilization also appears to be getting a boost, with early reports pointing to 8.5 stops of combined IBIS and optical lens stabilization. If accurate, this would be among the highest ratings on any camera, full frame or otherwise, making it possible to handhold shots at shutter speeds previously thought impossible for sharp results. Low light shoot